Okay. So, uh, good morning and assalamu alaikum. And uh, today's learning outcomes are, we are going to do the comparative and superlative adverbs. Uh, we'll do page 141 of the student book and page 128 and 129 of the workbook, okay? So uh, you just need to um, have books with you. First of all, I'll explain you about the topic and then we'll do the written work on the student book and the workbook, okay? So uh, today's topic is adverbs. First of all, I'll explain you what are adverbs, okay? First of all, I'll explain you what are adverbs and then we will move on to the comparative and the superlative adverbs, okay? So uh, look at the definition on my slide, all of you. An adverb is a word which modifies. Modifies means change. The meaning of a verb, an adjective or another adverb. But more specifically, uh, adverb means which modifies the meaning of a verb, okay? So when we talk about uh, the meaning of a verb, the meaning of an adjective, or the meaning of another adverb, it means, like you see the examples over here, when we talk about girl runs quickly, that means over here it is changing the meaning of a verb, okay, that is quick. When we talk about this is a very sweet mango. So very sweet mango, it actually explains more about the adjective. Like the mango is very sweet. It explains more about the noun, okay? So we say this is a very sweet mango. So it explains here and modifying the meaning of an adjective here. Like it's sour, it's sweet, whatever. So it explains here. Peter reads quite clearly. Peter reads quite clearly. Clearly is an adverb and quite is an adverb as well. So it explains more about an adverb. Okay. So an adverb is a word which modifies the meaning of a verb, an adjective or another adverb. Okay. So in these examples, they explain the meaning of an adverb in the uh, meaning of the verb in the first example, meaning of an adjective in the second example, and the meaning of another adverb in the third example. Well, I'll show you one video as well related to it, and then you will be more clear about the topic, okay? So adverbs, basically we use adverbs in different contexts. As you see on my slide, it says when, to what extent, where, in what manner, and how. So specifically when we talk about like when, where, and how, these are the three main concepts uh, which actually explains the adverb, okay? So I will uh, show you the video first and then you will be more clear about the adverb and the comparative and the superlative adverb. So the topic is comparative and the superlative adverb. First I explained you adverb and now let's talk about the comparative and the superlative adverb. As I told you like when we were doing comparative and superlative adjectives in our previous classes, I told you when we are comparing only two things and two actions, we use the comparative one. And when we use three or more, then we use the superlative ones. So I'll show you through the example here. Just wait a minute. Through the video, you will be more clear. Just listen to the video carefully, please. Awesome students. Today's lesson is comparative and superlative adverbs. Now, first of all, what is an adverb? Think about it. Did you say an adverb is a word that describes verb? Excellent. 
It is a word that can tell me when, where, or how something happens. Now, look at this statement. Sarah works hard. Where is the adverb? Excellent. Hard is the adverb. It tells me how does Sarah work. Now, if I want to compare Sarah's action with, let's say, Tom, what am I going to add to the adverb? Just like the adjectives, I'm going to add E-R, harder. Sarah works harder than Tom does. Now, the word harder is called comparative adverb. Now, if I want to compare three or more actions, I'm going to add E-S-T to the adverb. And this is called superlative adverb. Sarah works hardest of all students. Now, most adverbs that end in li or ly, we use the word more to compare between two actions. Now, the adverb here is slowly. The truck moved slowly. Now, if I'm going to compare the way the trucks move to the way the car moves, I'm going to add the word more because the adverb here ends with ly. So I'm not going to erase the y and put i e r. No. The truck moved more slowly than the car. And also, I'm going to use the word most to compare between three actions or more. The truck moved most slowly of all. Now, enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, students. So, uh, did you enjoy the video? Show me with your thumbs up. Did you understand about the comparative and the superlative adverbs? Right? So, what she was telling in the video that, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. So, she was actually telling in the video that we use the, first she explained what are adverbs, okay? And then she explained about the comparative and the superlative adverbs. So, um, she specifically explained this that when the word is ending on li, then you will be using in comparative, you will be using more with the word and superlative, you will be using the most in the word. But other, uh, when we talk about the other words that do not end on li, then you will be using er mostly we'll be using er at the end of the word to make it in comparative and est at the end of the word to make it in the superlative okay so uh, let me share my screen again with you the slides okay all of you can see the slide now right so this these are the comparative and superlative adverbs so um Let's move on to the next slide. So come to page number 141 of your student book. Page number 141 of your student book, all of you, and write down classwork day and date at the top of the page, please. Okay, students, so um, uh, as you see uh, the uh, grammar part here, comparative and superlative adverbs. So comparative adverbs when we use, when we're comparing two actions or two things at the same time. And superlative adverbs we use when we're comparing three or more. So over here you have been given the adverbs, then the comparative ones and the superlative ones, okay? So they have given you the example of fast. So fast comparative would be faster than, 
and superlative would be the fastest. Carefully, as you see, this word is ending on li. So whenever the word's ending on li, so we use more carefully than and the most carefully, okay? So circle the correct words. So you need to circle the correct words by looking at the statements. He ran dash in the race. So what would be the correct one? He ran faster than in the race or he ran fa the fastest in the race? Yes, Musa? Ma'am, I don't know page number. It's page number 101 of your student book. 141. Okay. Okay, yes, Ali Muhammad Bita, uh, which one we will circle here? He ran faster than in the race or he ran the fastest in the race? And the fastest. Thank you. He ran the fastest in the race because over here, we are using the superlative one here. So please circle all of you the fastest. Circle all of you the fastest. I jumped dash than Rick. I jumped higher than Rick or the highest than Rick. Um, yes, Ahil. I jumped higher than Rick. Okay, thank you. Just mute yourself now. Yes, I jumped higher than Rick. Okay, so because over here they're comparing two actions, two persons, like I is comparing with Rick. Number three, our class walked dash than their class. Our class walked more quietly than their class. Our class walked more quietly than their class. Everybody is doing work. I want you to circle the correct ones, all of you. Ibrahim Umar looks so sleepy. Are you doing it, Ibrahim, or not? Ibrahim Umar, have you done the work or not? Unmute yourself and tell me, please. Ibrahim Umar. Yes, I have done. Okay, that's good. Okay, students, I'm moving on to the next slide now. Okay. This is page number. Just listen to me very carefully at the first place. I will not explain you the page numbers again and again. Okay. So this is the page number 128 of your workbook. Page number 128 of your workbook. And write down classwork day and date at the top of the page. Today is 12th Jan. Two thousand and twenty one. Write down classwork. And the day is Tuesday. Write on all of you 
Jade, Aaron, Classwork, please. Okay. So, uh, again, the topic is comparative and superlative adverbs. So, over here, you will look at the pictures and then you will write down and fill up the blanks with comparative and the superlative adverbs. Okay. So, number one is already done. Look at number two sentence now. Who can jump dash? So if you look at this sentence, who can jump dash? The word given in the bracket is high. So if you look at the picture, we'll be using the superlative adverb here. Okay, we'll be using the superlative adverb here. So who can jump? the highest right on all of you who can jump the highest number three i got to school dash alley so over here they're comparing i with alley that means comparison of two so you will be using the comparative adverb here. I got to school. Yes, who will tell me? Who will tell me the answer of this one? Yes, uh, Ayan. Ayan bin Hasham. Yes, Bita, Ayan bin Hasham. Or I got to school earlier. Very good. I got to school earlier than Ali. I didn't sing dash the others so over here they are com over here the comparison of i with others okay so i didn't sing louder than the others louder than the others Number five, who swims dash, Sam or Andy? Again, you have to use the comparative here because they're comparing two persons, Sam and Andy. So who swims faster? Number six. Yes, Hamza Hussain. Tell me number six now. Emily got to the park dash. The word given in the bracket early. Yes, Hamza. Yes. Bita, tell me the last one, number six. Emily got to the park dash. The word given in the bracket is early. So what one, which one, which comparative or which adverb you will use here, the comparative or the superlative? Ma'am, the superlative. Yes. So what would be the superlative of early? Emily got to the park earliest. Perfect. Thank you. Emily got to the park the earliest. Okay. Rayan, are you doing the work? Rayan Tahe?
Prayantail, unmute yourself and tell me are you doing work or not? Yes, ma'am, I am doing the work. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I'm moving on to the next slide now. And I'm sure you all have done it. Just show me your thumbs up that you have done the work. Show me with your thumbs up, please. Good, thank you. Okay, I'm just moving on to the next slide now. Okay, this slide is on page number 129. Page number 129. Write down classwork day and date at the top of the page. Make it quick class. Circle the correct answer. I moved dash than my dad. Yes, Rayan Tahir, but you tell me the answer, please. Which one you will circle here? I moved more, more carefully than my dad or I moved the most carefully than my dad? Which one you will more circle? Carefully. Thank you. More. I moved more carefully than my dad. Circle more carefully. The glass blower moved. Dash. The glass blower moved the most carefully. Okay, number three, who would like to tell? Number three, let me ask. Hmm. If Ahil, you participated. Let me ask somebody else. Yes, um, Shazil. Shazil will tell me number three. The glass blow worked faster than he did before or the fastest than he did before? The fastest than he did before. Why would you say the fastest? Two actions oh, no. are... The glow purple work fa faster. Faster, because two actions are being compared. So you would circle faster. Faster. Okay, just mute yourself now. Okay, number four. He worked dash of all the local glass floors. He worked dash of all the local glass floors. So that means he is... Com he worked the fastest of all the local glass blowers. Okay. <clears throat> now look at the D part. Look, D part is look and write. So you have to look at the picture and you have to write. So you would see in all the pictures here, it's running aspect is given here, right? in second picture, in third picture, in fourth picture. So in all the pictures, the boys and girls are running. So you would use the word run in the sentences, okay? As you see the first one, he runs the fastest. You have been given two hint words, she and slowest. Slowest actually explains that you have to use the superlative here. Okay, so she runs the slowest. Second sentence will be, she runs the slowest. What would be the third sentence? Bob faster than Bill. So over here you will be doing the comparative adverb because Bob and Bill is being compared, okay? So Bob runs faster than Bill. Bob runs faster than Bill. Number four is Annie slower than 
Emma. Again, two girls are being compared and their actions are being compared. So you will be using the comparative adverb here again. So Annie runs slower than Emma. Write down all of you. Annie runs slower than Emma. Okay, so uh, class, this is the E part now. Rewrite the sentences using superlative adverbs. So over here, you will be using this. This is the work which you will do it for me, okay? I will ask you and then you have to tell me the correct answers. So uh, you have to use the superlative adverbs here. That means you will be converting the sentence into superlative one, okay? As you see the first one, the boy moved more quickly than his dad and the glass blower. So when they changed into superlative one, they said the boy moved the most carefully. Okay. Number two is Mr. Donatello worked more quickly than other glass blowers. So if I ask you to convert it into superlative adverb, how would you do it? Who will tell me the correct answer? Mutahir will tell me. Because Mutahir is yawning a lot. I think he's sleepy today. Yes, Mutahir? Are you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, Mutahir, but you tell me, please. Mr. Don, tell a work more quickly than other glass blowers. If I ask you to change it into superlative, how would you do it? Ma'am, it's... Mr. Donatello worked mm, the most quickly. But that's it. That's it. Than that's the it. other class. Then doors. you will not use then. When you will be using the so, superlative, then you will just uh, stop on the word the most quickly. That's it. Okay. Just mute yourself. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mutahir. So you would say, Mr. Donatello worked the most quickly. That's it. Mr. Donatello worked the most quickly. A furnace gets hotter than an oven or a grill. So if I ask you to change it into superlative adverb, how would you do that? Yes, Darim. Darim, why your picture is not clear to me? Like your picture is not visible to me. It's, uh, uh, turn on your camera, please. I've turned. I'm all turned on. Okay. Just uh, Darren, tell me what you will do here. A furnace gets hotter than an oven or a grill. If I ask you to change it into a superlative adverb, how would you do that? A furnace can get hot more the hottest than an oven or a grill. Okay, just tell me, when you will be using the word the hard test, will you be using than? I don't think so. So, a furnace gets the hard test. That's it. Okay? Okay. A 
furnace gets the hottest that's it and the last one is mr donatello shapes the glass more skillfully shapes the glass more skillfully than his father and his grandfather so the sentence would be mr donatello shapes the glass the most skillfully that's it you will write down mr donatello shapes the glass the most skillfully just write it down yourself now Okay, students, uh, that's all for today. And I hope you understood about the topic, the comparative and the superlative adverb. So uh, if you don't understand anything, so to, in the tomorrow's uh, class, I will give you first five minutes to ask me any question if you have, okay? So uh, right now we're running short of time. Time is about to be over. So I'll see you, see you inshallah in the next class, okay? Take good care of yourself. See you then. Bye bye. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Bye bye.